I think a lot of people that come to that door want to explore and aren't sure they can explore yet or what that even means to explore what it is to be a part of a church. And here we love the exploration element, the dreaming and the imagination. We have a strong connection to a lot of ancient traditions honored by the church, but only if they are life-giving to us. It's just playing with the traditional model and doing what makes sense to us. Not only is it okay to come here and not know the answer, it's almost encouraged. We're always looking for ways that will strike someone's curiosity and create a relationship where you can flirt with God. I attended the very first service in Advent of 2002 and felt like it was a place that I could be myself. The first couple times I came here, I was like, yeah, I don't know about this, but, um, but it took. It was so refreshing right off the bat. There were a lot of things that were really different about what goes on here. The Great Hall is just, there's something magic that lives in there. We have people that are cradle Episcopalians people that are Lutherans, people who are not even Christians. We had a couch in the back for a while that was, we called it the atheist couch. <laughs> We're kind of opposite. A lot of churches will say, there's a young person, we have to keep them. And here it's like, there's an old person, we have to keep them. Seattle, just because of the sheer number of days of darkness, <laughs> is somewhat of a city where people will look down. People always talk about this. Seattle freeze. And so that actually gives the church a unique place where we can form honest community and create friendships in ways that are not threatening. We ran a coffee and tea bar for uh, about a year and a half before we moved into this building. It was just a space where people could come and work on their work, have a break. We call it the living room, so we wanted it to feel like a place away from home that also felt like home. I think that coffee house element that kind of casual atmosphere where you can just relax with a cup of coffee and start to talk about these things that are very serious in a way that's less threatening. I think that has carried over into what our liturgy is and who we are. We really believe that the liturgy is the work of the people and so we want as many people to be a part of that as possible. We get to meet and plan our services together in community and that is really a cool experience. Then when you come to the service on Sunday, you're coming to something that's really communal the liturgy and the music at all just fits together. It's really intentional. The music at CODA is very authentic to this area. You can listen to it and picture rain sleeting down and <laughs> clouds and covering the sky. I've been doing church music for forever and this place kind of takes it to a whole new level. It takes old hymns and kind of dusts them off and gives them a little facelift. It sort of brings the old music back to life and, and gives it something new and different. We might be doing a hymn from the seventh century and one that was written last week. I just wanted a place where the music made sense to me culturally and the old and the new could meet. The heart of it is that it has a very life-giving breath through the service in a way that connects it. Coda is a place where a lot of people come because they feel free to approach God in their own way and to be open about who they are, even if they're not quite sure of who they are and what they want. This church doesn't go out of its way to honor certain types and set them on some sort of museum piece pedestal for people to look at or ponder and feel good about their acceptance here, but you can come in quietly and calmly and be accepted for who you are. It's really beautiful what happens when you can do this as a group. It's not just one person dictating how it's gonna go. A lot of things about faith you sort of take for granted because it's, it's always been there and uh, being a coder gives you an opportunity to really think about it and fumble your way forward with your fellow searchers and journeyers. I didn't really go to church for a long, long time, and so I'm surprised that I'm here after a year and a half. This is where I make my home, because it's the place that I connect with the most. 
the people make this this place happen. It's, it's really awesome.